Today we master extreme before and after. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now some transformations can be pretty astounding. Some happen right before your eyes, like this hair during the pandemic. Others are a little more subtle, like that time Link and I spent a week at summer camp and Link transformed into a human that doesn't require defecation. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, I like to think of myself as the Optimus Prime of not pooping. Go. Okay, you can you can have that title. <laughs> anyway, people love, 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 love a good before and after. I so do, today, yes. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the wildest physical transformations the world, or at least the internet, has ever seen. It's time for Transformations Can Be Extreme and So Awesome. Just look at me before I really blossom. Oh, is this a game? Do I get to play a game today? Yes, you do, or Link. Win things or lose yeah. things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a photo from someone or something after a major transformation. After. And you're gonna guess from multiple choice option what the before of that something was. I'm okay. showing you after you're guessing the before. before. Yeah, I, I got it. Now, if you guess incorrectly, you will immediately be handed an appropriately themed transformation punishment. If you guess correctly, the punishment goes to me. But before we begin, we're gonna take our own before shot. Because okay. we're gonna be transformed. Huh. See, that was it, man. That was painless. Yeah, you didn't cheat when I, when you took that picture. You didn't look at my... You'll have to look back at the image. Nope. No, I didn't. Here it is, I ain't Link. cheating. I'm winning out right. In our first photo, a young woman who is typically highly immersed in a particular subculture is transformed from her regular self into something a bit different. Here's that after. What sort of subculture or physical appearance was this woman rocking before? Okay. A, rockabilly known for polka-dotted poodle skirts, saddle shoes, red lipstick, and jet black hair, and victory rolls behind a bandana? B, jock. Specifically, a no-frills professional rock climber with a buzz cut, a scar across her jawline, and a closet full of dingy old white tank tops. Okay. Or C, goth, with two different colored eyes, black lips and teeth, a septum nose ring, and blood running down her chin. Or D, one of those people who says supposedly instead of supposedly. <laughs> oh, those supposedly. People. Those people, man. Ah, those people. Rockabilly jock or goth. I, go back to the image. I'm afraid to say this, but I feel like that's a wig. <laughs> You're not I, good at I'm not wigs. good at toupees, wigs, or anything of the like, but something about that hairline is a little fishy to me. I'll also notice that her left bicep area seems to be hiding some tattoo action. You think there's some poorly concealed tattoos there? It, yeah, it looks like... Um, it could be the wallpaper showing Some through. sort of foliage. Rockabilly is too 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 weird. It's either goth or, or rock climber. Because of that wig, it could just be like... You said buzz cut rock climber. Buzz you? cut rock climber. I'm going to go with goth. He's going with goth, and he is correct. Yes, Let's see wait. it. This was Aaron, a.k.a. Vampiren, or Vamprin. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. So, hold on. This is not the after. This is the before. Yeah, this is what Vamprin usually looks like. I like this version. I like the before version better than the after better. version. A lot better. I mean, this is... Definitely. Talk about self-expression. I haven't seen a makeover that dramatic since Meeks re-debuted as Dreamcatcher. Stan Dreamcatcher. That was my attempt to relate to the the, the K-pop audience. Okay, cool. Did well, I do it? I, I got it. Did it work? Apparently not. D what? So what? What's okay, the here's punishment? the first punishment, and this is me. I have to put on black lipstick. <laughs> now the punishment is not you putting it on me. The punishment oh. is me putting it on. And then what about this? What is it? This is red. That's supposed to look like a bloody streak. Have it coming out of your eye. It's like you're crying blood. Come on, Rhett. Be goth. Cry blood. Right on that right eye. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, good. She was cool looking, man. So cool. Here's the second question. We've touched on tattoo cover-ups in the past. In fact, we just talked about it. I've never touched a tattoo cover. But the good thing about tattoo mistakes is that people just keep on making them. Take a look at these, this sick tattoo of two microphones. 
<laughs> oh, wow. So, like, just so you understand, wow. this is an after. <laughs> okay. This was a correction to a previous tattoo. So, what was the before tattoo? Was it A, two large, poorly drawn koi fish? B, okay. three sets of pierced nipples? Oh, wow. C, two rocket ships that turn just a tad too phallic? Or D, link on the left and red on the right. Well, that's crazy because it should always be red on the left and link on the right. <laughs> Am I right? No, I'm wrecked. Uh, ugly koi, pierced additional nipples, or phallic rockets. The cordage from the mics is doing something that I wouldn't, I don't, just don't think they would do this unless it was, and the cords themselves were covering cords something are up. covering something. Hmm. So could they could be covering up part of a koi or some errant nipples? I think it's gotta be the phallic rockets, but I don't know what the cords are covering. Uh, I'm gonna go with phallic rockets. That makes the most sense. Let's see what these tattoos were before. <laughs> Inexplicably, Link. Are you serious? They're is... tattooed nipples. And they're not even even with each other. I mean, look at the horizontal, the vertical placement on those. So uh, hey, let's this bring is in a, this. You, so this bizarre. Is a, this is a punishment. Uh, you've got some pierced nipples that you must apply to your person. And you can keep them on your clothing because we all want to keep seeing them. I kind of want nipples up here. Okay, neck nipples. It's gonna look like those really nasty zits that you get. That's more. You need to. You need to definitely see a professional if that happens on your neck. Isn't this gross? Uh, yeah, it is, especially now that you put it on your neck. Oh. Oh, I need to re-pierce this. Here, re-pierce my my neck nipple. Easily done. Oh, oh, oh! Something else fell. What fell? My other one fell. It looks like a zit that needs to be burst, man. This is freaking nasty. I kind of like the feeling of it. Is it cold in here or is it just your neck nipples? <laughs> okay, real quick before this next one. There's only one week left if you to get the- Don't use your host voice. No, I have to because I'm reading it. If you've been thinking about joining the Mythical Society, now is the time to get in. Through October 22nd, new purchases of second degree, third degree monthly, and third degree quarterly plans are available at a big discount. Don't miss out on this great offer and see what the Mythical Society is all about. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details. Honk, honk. What happened to your nipple piercing? I don't know, it fell off. All right, Link. Here it is. That's a little too close for comfort. Okay. Um, you're gonna love this one. Here's an after video of a happy miniature pony trotting in a pasture. Look at it. Oh, Look slow at mo. Slow mo and everything. give it to me, baby. This is the after, okay? Aww. Just a lovey dovey Look situation right that. there. Making out with another one. Miniature. What was so different about this happy mini pony before? A, he had an extra set of limbs from a parasitic twin. Oh. B, he was spray painted silver, covered in rainbow glitter, and had a unicorn horn gorilla glued to his head due to a wayward children's party. Ah. C, everything on him was wildly overgrown from his hair to his hooves, which twisted into the shape of large, girthy corkscrews. Mm. Or D, he was covered in nipple ring tattoos. I, apparently this is going around. Yeah, Everybody's when, getting them. Once you've seen it, you find yourself thinking, well, I could go for that. Yeah. I've kind of taken to the subgenre of internet video known as hoofing, which is when people scrape, it's like blacksmiths or like horse people scrape and the, um, the hooves, I actually made up the term hoofing, but they like scrape down and it's very satisfying. It doesn't hurt the horse, it actually makes them really happy. Mm -hmm. And I, so I think this wildly overgrown thing mm -hmm. could definitely be one of those videos, and I, I think I would love it. Plus a complete makeover. Okay. C, wildly overgrown miniature horse. I hate to say that you did not make up the phrase hoofing, but I don't think that you're into those videos. Oh, so. what are they? No, I mean, we'll talk about it. Just Later. give me a hint. That, that'll just be a, that's a private. No, that's the hint. That's, that's a private hint. conversation for later. Okay, so Link, you're saying wildly C. overgrown C, and you, well, let's just see what this thing looked like before. Yes. Oh my you are oh, poor right. guy. That's what a horse hoof will do if you don't take care oh of it. Oh my gosh, just think about how long he's been waiting for some help. I gotta admit, <laughs> it's pretty sad, but wouldn't you love curly fries to come in that size? It's <laughs> <laughs> a big freaking curly <laughs> fry. Oh, good lord. It's like a curly pipe fry. Uh, we actually think that's a mini Shetland pony, not to curse on the show, <laughs> but 
Uh, it's not a miniature horse. I know you're into miniature horses. Oh. But you're also opening your heart to miniature ponies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're gonna have to open your heart to me wearing a miniature ponytail or maybe just a regular sized pony. Yeah, put that on because you lost. And let let's. I want to see the after because I don't want to be left with that sad image. Look at that slow motion, so happy. And now look at. Yes, you show better now. I gotta do side pony. Yeah, do side pony. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, with tiny homes and DIY home projects still all the rage, it seems like people are more than happy to just transform about anything into a beautiful abode. I'm Take a look at this unique home shared by Callie on TikTok. The house used to be something else, which was very much not a house. There's a ladder to get upstairs. I see the ladder, yes, thank stairs. you. Uh, and then we go into my kitchen. Uh, my parents recently redid the kitchen, That's so quite. it looks a lot nicer than it used to. I agree. The snails from my previous video, what's up, guys? What's up? What's up? And the other side of the kitchen. The first door yeah. on the left is the bathroom part one, part as one. I call it. Um, someone asked if we have running water. We do have running There's water. There's the proof. You know, the best way to show you <laughs> got running water is the On the other side it. of the hallway is the bathroom part two, which is where the bathtub and shower are. So what was this before, my friend? Was it A, a Continental Airlines double-decker Boeing 7047, or 747. <laughs> 7047. <laughs> Airplane. B, an old riverboat. C, a fallen, reinforced, and hollowed-out sequoia tree. Or D, the old woman who lived in a shoe. Not the shoe. They actually lived inside the woman. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was very old. She didn't even know what was happening. I think the 747 would be too big. Is I mean, either the riverboat or the sequoia tree. The sequoia tree. Uh, I don't think it would be that cramped on a riverboat. I actually think this is a reinforced sequoia tree. The largest living thing. Well, he's going with C, sequoia tree, and the answer is, well, let's just see. It used to be a boat, it but used now to it's be on land. A boat. I was wrong. So it's a house. Okay, uh, Link, the punishment is a captain's hat. So you got to put that on with your... How is this a punishment? Look at this. I look friggin' <laughs> sweet. Is that the nipple neck, Captain? Aye, aye. Captain Nickel, nipple <laughs> neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this next round is so extreme that we have to switch things up. What? You're going to see things before. Okay, And great. then we want you to guess what happened after. This is what I'm used to. Can you man. follow? You might, have to this is you might have to switch your nipples around for this one. Turn your head around. All right. What happened to this guy after this photo? Oh, getting swole. A, he injected petroleum jelly into his arms to achieve obscenely large biceps. B, he injected petroleum jelly into his chest to achieve obscenely large pecs. C, he injected petroleum jelly into his shoulders to achieve obscenely large delts. Uh -uh. Or D, he removed the nerve endings in his funny bone so nothing was funny anymore. Sad story. Are you telling me that this guy injected petroleum jelly into his body somewhere? It could be. Biceps, pecs, or you delts. I don't even wanna I don't even wanna show this to the people, man. Unless it's a cautionary tale and it's obvious they shouldn't do it. I mean, you be the judge of that. I think it looks pretty good. Pet petroleum jelly? Petroleum jelly. The stuff that you used to keep next to your crap bed. I would not put this on my delts. I might do my biceps but I really need it in my pecs. I'm saying pecs, B. Let's see the picture. As you can see, uh -uh. the pecs are still normal. This is not, <laughs> hold on. This is a Russian <laughs> MMA fighter, uh, Kirill Tereshin. What the crap Kirill is Tereshin. going on here? He had to have three pounds of dead muscle removed from his arms after injecting three liters of petroleum jelly into his biceps. Why? So this actually ended up becoming a very serious medical problem. Of course it did. Uh, so please do not do this. Uh, but oh my gosh, what is, a, what a horrible he, thing he's he did. He's an MMA fighter. You might think he did this to be a better MMA fighter, but he actually did it to have something to lay his head on while flying. You know how you can never really get comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Link, your punishment is putting in a mouth guard. You know, like MMA. Where, where is this from? You just like, I didn't touch it. It's just been You don't know where it's from, but it's you didn't touch it. this whole time. So now, you're Captain Nipple Neck, ready for a fight. Bring it on! Finally. You know our beloved Mythical Kitchen? Oh, yeah, sure. And member uh, Trevor? <laughs> I remember Trevor. You remember Trevor? Yeah. Well, everybody loves Trevor. Here's what Trevor looks like now. That's, a, that's an after? He's cool. 
It's got a filter. I've on never it. felt that cool inside the mythical kitchen. Hmm. I've never made it look that cool. This is after. This is the after. So, what did Trevor look like before joining the mythical kitchen? Now, we, we've we've done a lot for Trevor based on what he was before. Was he a mm -hmm. a children's birthday party clown known for his skin tight clown outfits? <laughs> B he cosplayed as Uncle Jesse from Full House, down to the leather vest and beautiful head of hair. Have mercy. I could see that. C, he was a full-grown man, baby, who loved to take nappies in his crib. Or D, he was Shrek. I mean, somebody had to be it. Skinny Hardy Clown, Uncle Jesse, man, baby. Shrek. 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 Link's going with Shrek. No, no I'm not. I was just saying the choices. <laughs> oh, because it's D anyway, right? Yeah. It's never D. <laughs> Something about you saying it's never D and then making that face with the <laughs> lipstick and the hair. <laughs> Is it D? It's never D. Uh, I think, I think he's not, talked about being Uncle Jesse. Not for me. I'm going with Uncle Jesse. I think he was Uncle Jesse. B. Let's see. Nope, there it is, a Photoshop picture of Trevor as a man, baby. Don't you remember before we hired him, this is what he was doing with himself? This is Photoshop. He still does ask to be regularly bottle-fed, though, and apparently that is being, uh, that is being uh, rewarded. Oh, really? Handsomely. Well, it's definitely very believable. Uh, Link, that means that you're going to have to put on uh, this little bonnet. Nice, Captain Baby nipples. Uh, ready for a fight. <laughs> I don't them. know if there were any winners or losers, but I do know that we're going to get a little after picture now that you've turned into that and I've turned into this. What's that, your bib? There you go. Hold on. Uh, on three, say it's never D. One, two, three. Never it's D. never D. We've changed so much over the course of this episode and grown as people. <laughs> yes, people? People. People. Yes, we have. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Oh, and check our Instagram for that. Our before and after. Oh, yeah, do that. You know what time it is. My name's Jessica. And we're from Rochester, New York at Seabreeze Amusement Park. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Where are they at? Seabreeze Amusement Music Park. She either didn't drop her phone or she did and then found it. Oh. You know, either way is possible. Right. Click the top link to watch us discover what animals looked like before they grew up or glowed up in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Willa McCallie's gonna land. Celebrate my birthday. New purchases of select plans are available at a big discount through October 22nd. Details at mythicalsociety.com.